The Outlook add-in is a great asset that lets you create communications and meetings in Borealis without ever leaving your mailbox. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to install the add-in, how to create an email communication, how to add emails in a batch, and finally, how to record a meeting or event. Depending on how your organization manages security and hardware, your IT department may need to install the add-in for you. If you have the necessary permissions to change your computer's configuration, you can do it yourself by following these steps. Log into Borealis, then click on the menu in the top right corner and select Email Integration. At the bottom of the window, right-click on the link to download the add-in file and choose Copy Link Address. Now go to your Outlook window and select Get Add-ins. On the left side menu, click on My Add-ins. Scroll down to the Custom section and click on Add a Custom Add-in. This will open a drop-down menu with two options. Choose Add from URL. Paste the URL you copied from Borealis using the Control v command. You'll need to connect to your Borealis account by entering your username and password before you can start using the Outlook add-in. Once installed and connected, we recommend using the PIN function to keep the add-in open at all times. This video was recorded using the desktop version of Microsoft 365 Outlook for Mac. The steps for the installation might differ slightly depending on your computer environment. You can visit our Help Center to find out about other ways to install the Outlook add-in. Let's say we're emailing Mayor Todd Jones to let him know we'll be working on a section of train tracks in his municipality. We'll need to create a record in Borealis showing that he received this information. When your email is ready, simply categorize it as you would when entering a communication in Borealis. Choose the correct access level if this applies to you, the engagement plan the communication is related to, and a subject category if applicable. When you categorize emails or replies that you receive, you might want to use General Atmosphere to document the impact of this communication on your organization. You can choose more fields by clicking the Add Field button. Before I press Send, I realized that I should add Doreen Smith, Mr. Todd's administrative assistant, to the communication. Unfortunately, I don't have her email address in my Outlook address book. Not a problem. I can look her up using the Search for Recipients tool. Now I'll press Send and my communication will be automatically saved in Borealis. You can click on View Communication if you want to review the information in Borealis. If the recipient already exists, Borealis will automatically link the email communication to their individual record. If the recipient isn't already in the system, an individual record will be created using their first name, last name, email address, and a copy of the communication. If the communication is part of an exchange, it will be attached to the email thread. You'll also receive a confirmation email once the synchronization is done. If, for any reason, something went wrong, for example, if the email was already sent by someone else to Borealis, you will receive a notification. You can use the same process to sync an email that was already sent. Simply select the email, categorize it as needed, and press Send to Borealis. If you need to send many emails to Borealis, you can use a batch action. Simply select the multiple emails, click on Forward, and then select the mail handler address for batch actions, found in Borealis Email Integration. Paste this address in the To field, categorize, and click Send. This will create one communication for each email you forward and link them to the appropriate stakeholders, or create stakeholders as needed for each communication. Meetings, or calendar events, can also be sent to Borealis through the Outlook add-in to create communications. In Outlook, open a meeting that has already occurred, then follow the same steps you used when sending an email to Borealis, but make sure you select the correct type of communication for this event. For example, my meeting was virtual and held on Teams. Note that both past and planned meetings can be entered in Borealis the same way. If you enter a planned meeting, you will need to make sure you edit the communication to update the meeting after it occurs. That's all there is to it. Now you know how to enter your day-to-day -day conversations in Borealis without ever leaving Outlook. Of course, practice makes perfect. 
Try putting these tips into action with these simple exercises. Find an important communication you had during the past few days and send it to Borealis using the Outlook add-in. Create a meeting and synchronize it to Borealis using the Outlook add-in. Don't forget that if you have any questions, you can visit our Help Center to find more introductory videos like this one, or write to the Help Desk if you find any issues.